Hey guys, owner operator here. I know it's been a while, but you know, I just really don't want to make a video that's of a video that's been made 50 times. I mean, let's be honest, there's only so many ways to drop a trailer, so many ways to change a fuel filter, so many ways you can uh, ride a load. I might do some videos on some of that stuff later, but you know, what I'm coming to you today on is spending your money wisely. By that, I mean choosing which truck stops you feel like. Now, of course, the you know overwhelming thought is, well, fuel at the cheapest. Well, first and foremost, you don't want to mix fuels from you know TA. Petro, Jan Petro, or Flying Jane uh, Pilot, and Loves. You know, you don't want to keep Tia Petro being one brand, Flying Jane Pilot being one brand, and Loves being a third brand. You do not want to mix brands. The reason being is if you have a problem, you have no idea which brand caused it to avoid. Uh, so, you try to pick one brand and stay with it. Now, another thing is, who's going to give you the most for your money? In that, I mean, if you're going to go in there and spend $400, $500 every other day or every day, depending on how hard you run, you know, fueling your truck up, you know, there's should be something coming back to you. That should do something to uh, try and reward you for choosing their company. Now, Loves has a uh, graduated scale. Each, you know, level you get one point to start with. After 200 gallons, you get two points. After 500 gallons, you get three points. And after 1,500 gallons, you get... Uh, four points. I think that's the scale, but you know, that's the idea. Uh, Paula and Flange have the same scale, but I'm not really sure how it works. And they do pick certain companies and they just give, like my company gets five points a gallon every time we fuel. I've been told you can get it up to 18 points a gallon, but I'm not really sure how. Okay, Paula also, and so does Loves, gives you points on everything you buy. If you go into the Hardee's and spend money, you get points. If you buy a hot dog, you get points. If whatever you buy, you get points. Same with, uh, you know, Pilot and Fly J. Of course, you buy fuel, you get points. You get maintenance work done, you get points. Now, my least favorite place, the TA. As I said before, they have the most parking spots that are paid of any of the three. I think Love's has the least. Um, and, you know, if I'm going to come to your location and spend money, for instance, here at Chandler, North Carolina, $18 to park, $32 for me and my family to have a sit-down meal. Normally we eat in the truck, but we won't have a sit-down meal today. Then uh, $15 for some sodas and a toy. One second. Oh, I was handing it to you. This, this, and that. Were $15, no, $18. And, you know, so you're looking at, I've spent $70 for a place to park, to sit down and eat a decent meal. I ate a hamburger, my wife ate macaroni and cheese, macaroni and cheese and stale. that was stale. And my daughter ate spaghetti and meatballs. We ordered three additional meatballs for my wife and daughter to split. My daughter ate, uh, drink water. And me and my wife drank sweet tea. No dessert, $32 and change. 
but you know you've got to be smart about what people are going to give you for what you spend the only way to get points at TA and Petro now are either have maintenance work done or buy fuel you get no points for anything you buy in the store I was just told that so if you're going to argue with me Call Chandler, North Carolina, and tell them because I was going to buy two load lots. Nope, you don't get points for them. So I set them back down. Uh, you know, if you're not going to give me points for stuff, hey, I'll go spend my money somewhere else. That being said, uh, I'll try to get more videos out. Please leave comments. If you want to you know, see more of my thoughts, like and subscribe. And believe the drivers, remember one thing, we're all drivers out here. Whether you're a first week rookie, you're on your last run after 30 years, you own the biggest, baddest, you know, brightest, prettiest truck out here, or you drive for one of the you know starter companies or a little startup company, you know, or you, you know, whatever. We're all drivers out here. We've all got to stick together. If you see a driver struggling, stop and help them. You know, if you see a driver having a hard time getting into a parking spot, get out and offer them your eyes. Make sure they understand that they are the final decision. If they're in doubt, they need to get out and look. Me personally, I don't tell drivers what to do. I just tell them to stop. You know, hey, you're about to hit something, you need to stop. Uh, now, I helped the young lady here. I gave her a little more detail than I normally do. She's on her first run with uh, one of the startup companies, and she said that her trainer didn't even give her as much training as I did in one backpack. That being said, God bless. Everybody be safe. Get home to the ones you love.